righteousness and the will for higher vision Every profession will be used to serve God And from today I walk the missions Hi guys, Hi. welcome home. I would like to introduce you guys to my friends. Hi, my name is Dave. Nice to meet you. Hi, I'm Sunny. Nice to meet you all. Hey Sam, yeah. thanks for inviting us to join Connect Group. It's really fun. Yeah, it's so much fun. My pleasure. So, before we start our service today, let's pray together. Okay, close your eyes. Hold your hands, let's pray together. Dear Jesus, we're thankful for today and we are ready to worship you, to praise you, to celebrate in your presence and when we want to hear your voice, when we want to hear your words. Bless us, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Wow, I think we have still got plenty of times before our next class. Yeah. yeah. So, how about if we play a game? Wow, good idea. That's a good idea. But that's the good thing because I already prepared a game for us to play and our friends at home. Wow. Yay. That seems fun. What kind of game? Well, the name of our game is Kiss the Shadow. So later, Ooh. there will be a picture and in the picture, there will be a thing. Now, in that thing, I will give you a clue. That thing is a thing that you can find at your school. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So later, we'll just gonna guess what kind of thing is that in the picture. Okay, okay, okay. Do you get it? Yes, I get it. Okay, let's play together. Okay, let's start. Okay. What is this, honey? Hmm, it's mm. like an X, but there's a little circle on top of it. You know yes. what? It's like an X, but it's weird. Yeah, do you know what? I think it looks hmm. like a headset, like an AirPod. No. Oh, yeah. No. Looks like that. Oh, but no, 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 no. Not that. Can you guys guess it at home? Hmm. Can, you uh, can you guess it, Dave? It's really hard. Let me think first. Uh, okay, I think I knew it. Maybe I, I also knew. It is a scissor. Oh, yes, yeah, maybe. Yeah, is it right? Is. Wow! Yeah. wow. Yeah. Yay! Okay, next question. Ooh. Oh. oh, it's just... It's a slider. Is that the laptop? It's just a rectangle shape. What yes, is it? it's like a TV. I think mm. it's a book, no? No, I don't book, think book, book is, is that not big. that big. Can you guess it? Let me see. Can it you guess is it? Mm, maybe I can. Yeah, what is it? I think it's a whiteboard. A whiteboard? Is it true? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yes! Okay. The next question. Oh. Oh. What is this? It looks like it has two ears. No? It looks like a million. Yes. <laughs> but remember the clue. These are the things that you can find at school. Oh, okay. So it you, has... Can you guess it, Div? I think I can. Yeah. Is it a backpack? Is it a backpack? Yeah! yeah. Oh, nice. Did you guys get Ooh. it correct at home? Okay, next one. Ooh. This is a hard one. Ooh. This has like has a, a pointy, pointy, point, yeah. pointy yeah. and a bottle yeah. shape. Yeah, in a bottle shape. Yes. Hmm, what is it? It's like a rectangular it's shape. It's like a um, highlighter, no? Uh, no, I don't highlighter think highlighter is shapes like that. Yeah. Then I think I know it. I think this is a glue. Oh, yeah. yeah! Wow! Okay, okay. Next one. 
Oh. Okay, I think this is a pretty easy, right? Yeah, of course lah. We used it almost every day. Yeah, every time. Can you kids guess it at home? Can you guess it? Let's say it out loud and the count of three. One, One two, two, three. Bam! Bam! Okay. Yes, we are right. Oh. Oh no. Man, I want to play some more. Hmm. It's okay, guys. Maybe we can play again when we are in, a br in our break time. Okay, let's go to the classroom. Okay, okay let's, let's go. go. Everybody, let's praise Jesus together. Come on. Let's invite Jesus into our homes. I want everyone to march like this. Good job. When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. Happy, happy home. In the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. To the right. Turn around. When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home. I'm so tired of reading. Yeah, it was so hard. But even though it was hard, guys, remember, we have to give our best. We have to be God's top agent, right? Whoa, that's Eagle Kid's vision, right? What does it mean? Seriously, you don't know? Nah. Top agent is like someone who wears black black clothes, wear sunglasses, and a suit. Well, it's like a security guard. Wait, so Sam, you mean that we have to be a security guard at no, no, our church? No, no, that's not it. That is a secret agent. What I said is, we have to be gut stop agent, not a secret agent. In the movies, not like that. Mm. 
So, so do you guys know what does it mean? Uh, no. Mm, oh, I know. Maybe top agent is like my mom. My mom win an award because she sells a lot of houses and apartment. Mm. <laughs> no, no, you guys are so funny. Mm, how about if we um, don't guess it randomly, but we would like to hear from today's preacher, okay? Okay. okay. Let's hear it. I want everyone to worship Jesus. Let us close our eyes. Let's invite him to this place right now. On the mountain top, you are here. Night full of tears, you are here.
I love you, Lord. Thank you for being here for each and every one of us. Thank you for your blessing. Now they're going down that we're going to listen to your words. Please bless us. Please give us the heart to want to listen. Open our ears, open our hearts, Lord. Be here with us, be present with us. Thank you, Lord, for today. In your name we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Shalom, welcome home. I just said, welcome home. But do you know what the function of a home is? Have you thought about it before? Why do we even need a home? Home is not a building. Building is a house. A home is the family and the environment where we feel we belong and we feel safe to be in. But what is the function of a home anyway? Surely there must be a lot of functions at home, of a home. Uh, but I'd like to believe that the major function of a home is to be a place where we can grow physically and spiritually through love and teaching. At home, we can play, we can have fun, but we also must do our responsibilities um, like studying, cleaning up your bedroom. At home, we receive praises from our parents, but sometimes we're reprimanded for our mistakes, um, which we might not like at the time, but it's good for us. These are all important aspects of a home, which benefit us to grow, to be righteous and good in the sight of the Lord. We become, we grow into a righteous and good individual in the eyes of God. Home is where we experience growth and transformation. Physically, we were born babies. And so far, we've grown up this, this much. I don't know how tall you are. I don't know how big you are. But you've grown this much since you're a baby. Before, when we were babies, all we could do was to cry while lying down uh, in our cot. But now, we have grown this much, and we get to help our parents at home. Uh, we, get to, we get to do things that we couldn't do before because we've grown this much. We've matured this much. We can take care of the chores at home, help our parents. We can take care of our baby sister or baby brother at home. All because you've grown this much. I've grown this much. At home, our character is shaped. Our character is built through the teachings from our parents and through our own experiences we get to experience in, in life. And that's home. That's home where character is built. And that's what Eagle Kids is like. Eagle Kids is my home. Eagle Kids is your home. Eagle Kids is where you can play, you can have fun, you can meet your friends, but also this is a place where you learn valuable lessons. It's where you're praised, but also reprimanded. Because in Eagle Kids, we don't want to spoil you, but we want to correct you and guide you to be righteous in the sight of God. And we want to guide you so that you will live to do God's will in your life. In this home, Eagle Kids, we want to shape all of you to be God's top agents. Okay, not just any agent, not just some agent, but God's top agents. That's why our vision in Eagle Kids is to make every child God's top agent. Now, what is a vision? Okay, I just said in Eagle Kids, our vision is to make every child God's top agent. So what is a vision? Okay, Vision means seeing. Vision means uh, visualizing the future of where we want to get to or what we want to achieve. So when we say vision, we're talking about the achievement, we, uh, the achievement we wish to achieve in the future, um, and the direction of life where we're heading to. That's the vision. 
Without a vision, you don't know where you're heading. But with a clear vision, you know where you're going. Because vision gives you direction of where you need to go. So when we say the vision of Eagle Kids is to make every child God's top agent, it means that the purpose of Eagle Kids' existence is to make every child God's top agent. To understand what exactly God's top agent means, let's break it down into three parts. God's top agent. Okay, we have three parts, and we'll cover each part one by one. Okay, first part, God's. Okay, let's read First uh, Peter chapter two, verse nine together. First Peter chapter two, verse nine. It says, "But you're not like that, for you are a chosen people, you are royal priests." A holy nation, God's very own possession. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God, for He called you out of the darkness into His wonderful light. Amen. It says you're chosen. You are chosen. And it says you're God's own possession. You're God's. You're God's. As a result, you can show others the goodness of God. And God called you out of, his dark, out of the darkness into His light, His wonderful light. This means you have been saved. God saved you now. And God saved you, and now you're living in God's light to be the light of the world. As a chosen child of God, you're God's own possession. And you are to live for God. Let's have a look at the story of Joseph from Genesis chapter 41. Two full years later, Pharaoh dreamed that he was standing on the bank of the Nile River. In his dream, he saw seven fat, healthy cows come up out of the river and begin grazing in the marsh grass. Then he saw seven more cows come up behind them from the Nile, but these were scrawny and thin. These cows stood beside the fat cows on the riverbank. Then the scrawny, thin cows ate the seven healthy, fat cows. At this point in the dream, Pharaoh woke up. But he fell asleep again and had a second dream. This time, he saw seven heads of grain, plump and beautiful, growing on a single stalk. Then seven more heads of grain appeared, but these were shriveled and withered by the east wind. And these thin heads swallowed up the seven plump, well-formed heads. Then Pharaoh woke up again and realized it was a dream. The next morning, Pharaoh was very disturbed by the dreams. So he called for all the magicians and wise men of Egypt. When Pharaoh told them his dreams, not one of them could tell him what they meant. Finally, the king's chief cupbearer spoke up. Today, I have been reminded of my failure, he told Pharaoh. Some time ago, you were angry with the chief baker and me, and you imprisoned us in the palace of the captain of the guard. One night, the chief baker and I each had a dream, and each dream had its own meaning. There was a young Hebrew man with us in the prison who was a slave of the captain of the guard. We told him our dreams, and he told us what each of our dreams meant. And everything happened just as he had predicted. I was restored to my position as cupbearer, and the chief baker was executed and impaled on a pole. Pharaoh sent for Joseph at once, and he was quickly brought from the prison. After he shaved and changed his clothes, he went in and stood before Pharaoh. Then Pharaoh said to Joseph, I had a dream last night, and no one here can tell me what it means. But I have heard that when you hear about a dream, you can interpret it. It is beyond my power to do this, Joseph replied, but God can tell you what it means and set you at ease. Joseph was chosen by God out of all his brothers. When Pharaoh told Joseph about his dream, Joseph was able to interpret the dream. And Pharaoh acknowledged that the Spirit of God was with Joseph. And he appointed Joseph to be the prime minister of Egypt, which is second in power. Because Joseph was chosen 
God used Joseph to glorify his name, and God also used Joseph at the end to save the world at the time. God chose us, not because we're smart, not because we're good looking, not because we're rich. Okay? God chose us because He has plans for us, and He wants to use us as His vessel. The Eagle Kids, Eagle Kids is the place where you can get trained and get used by God. This is the place where you can feel safe and learn to be God's agent. I want you to remember that you belong to God. You're God's. You're chosen. You're God's own possession. That was the first part, that you're God's. Okay? The second part, God's top agent, right? It's so a top. The second part, top. We don't want you to just be an ordinary agent of God. Okay? But we want you to be the top agent. That means we should possess something that others don't possess, which is character. Okay? Our character should be like Jesus because we are His agents. We follow Jesus. We love Jesus. So our character should be more like Jesus. We are Christ-like ones. Okay? We can learn from Joseph about character because he was a man of a character. Okay? His character made him successful in finishing God's mission in his life. And boy, he succeeded. Joseph did all his works professionally and as best as he could while he was in the house of Potiphar. He wasn't being lazy or just pretending to be working hard, but he did, he did his very best in everything he worked on until Potiphar noticed it and entrusted him with everything in his household. Joseph chose to do, the, do his best even when his circumstance wasn't favorable and he still chose to do his best when no one was looking. Joseph chose to run away when Potiphar's wife interfered with him and tempted him to sin. He ran even when he knew that agreeing to sin with Potiphar's wife would make his life much more comfortable. But Joseph chose to do the right thing even when it was difficult. Joseph did not become arrogant or boastful when he rose to power in Egypt. He even forgave his brothers who wronged him previously. Surely it must have been difficult for him to forgive his brothers. He was probably tempted to take revenge. But Joseph chose to do the right thing in God's eyes because he was a man of a character. He didn't go by his feelings, but he chose to do the right thing. Good character makes us God's top agent so that we can succeed in the work of God. For example, when your friends are copying and cheating uh, on their assignment or their projects, but you still do your work, your homework, and your assignment honestly, okay? and you do your best. Uh, through your diligence and through your honesty, your friends will see that, hey, you're, you're, a man of a, you're a man or you're a boy or girl of a character. Okay? They can see that Jesus lives in you. Or every week you commit to join Eagle Kids service online or offline. Or have your own praying time, a Bible reading time. Have your own fellowship time with God. In this way, you're building your character to be faithful. Even when no one's watching you to praise you, but you're still doing this because you love God and this will help you to build your character. Or when things don't go according to how you like, you can still control yourself and not get emotional. Some people just have this tendency to get really emotional and angry when things are not going according to their ways, but you're different because you're God's top agent. You have, you have God's qualities. You have the character inside of you. So you overcome your emotion. You're, you don't go by the feelings, okay? you, but you go by the Word of God. And by this, you're building a good character for yourself. You're being top. You know what I mean? Okay. Trying intentionally, trying to be top, or you're intentionally trying to be top 
in your attitude and in everything that you do. This is a foundation of building a good character in Jesus. You got to be intentional about it. You got to do it on purpose. A good character is not built automatically, but a good character is built by your intention. And it's possible to do it through your intention because Holy Spirit lives in you already who enables you to overcome your emotions. And Eagle Kids, this place is your home. Okay? Where you can feel safe to build your character. It's okay to make a mistake. No one's here to judge you. But you got to be intentional about making that decision to, have, to build that character. Okay, we cover two parts. God's top. The third part, agent. Okay. The third part, agent. You've probably watched movies or cartoons um, about special agents okay um, these agents are sent to do special missions to save the world right it's the same in the kingdom of god okay? it's the same in the kingdom of god um, you're god's top agents and you're sent to do god's special missions to save the lost souls okay you're god's special agents who are sent to do God's work, and the mission is to save the souls. You are to be God's witness wherever you go. And you're, you're to represent Jesus wherever you go so that the gospel of Jesus Christ can be spread so that people who don't know Jesus may be saved by your ministry, by your service. Jesus gave us this ultimate mission. Okay? The Great Commission. Jesus gave us this mission for us to go for, for us to fulfill, which is the Great Commission. And this applies to every single Christian in the world. And you're not exception. Okay? Let's have a look at Matthew chapter 28, verse 19 to 20. The Great Commission. Jesus said, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all commands I have given you and be sure of this, I'm with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. This is what Jesus instructed his disciples to do after his ascension. Okay? And if you're a Christian, if you call yourself a Christian, that means you're a follower of Jesus Christ. And therefore, that makes you his disciple. And therefore, the Great Commission is also applied to you. Jesus is telling you to go and make disciples of all the nations. Jesus told me to go and make disciples of all nations too because I'm a Christian. And he's telling that to you too. As God's top agent, you are to go and make disciples of all the nations. Meaning that you are to go. You're sent. You're to go and rescue people who are being kidnapped by the devil. The devil is snatching them from God's hands and you are to go and save them. You're on a rescue mission. As an agent, that's your mission. Now let's put the three parts together. God's top agent. You're God's and you're top. Build your character, the top character. Okay, um, Give your very best in everything that you do. Okay, Give your very best in building your relationship with God. Give your very best in, in fulfilling your responsibilities like your study. Okay? Be, give your very best in building your relationship with your mom and dad and your brother and sister. Do your, do your very best because you're God's top agent. Okay? And the third part, agent, you're to do God's will. Okay? You are to do God's will as His agent, the Great Commission. You're sent. I was saved. I was saved by God's top agents from Maori Sharon Church. And I grew to know Jesus deeply in this church. And for you, Eagle Kids, this is the church that I call home. And in this home, I learned that 
I learned and I was taught to be God's top agent as well by God's top agents. So I'm so thankful there were previously, there were God's top agents reaching out to me to save me, to rescue me. And, and they taught me to be God's top agent. And now I'm going out there to save and rescue people who are being kidnapped and snatched by the devil. I'm doing my part. I'm trying to do my part as God's top agent to go and rescue the lambs, the lost lambs of God. And, you know, I used to be the lost lamb. I used to be the lost soul, but I was saved. So thankful that somebody was serious about being God's top agent. Eagle Kids is our home. This is a place where you can learn to be God's top agent. Okay. I want you to choose to be God's top agent, and I want you to go and make disciples all, of all the nations. Okay? That means you go, you go save one more soul. Don't let that one soul be taken away, but you go and save that soul. Don't let the devil take that soul away. Bring them to this home, Eagle Kids. Tell them about Jesus and place them in this safe home where they can also grow and become God's top agents. Help them, help them to be God's top agents. Friends and family around you, friends and families around you probably need Jesus. There must be some members of your family or your friends who don't know Jesus yet. God, is, God wants to use you to reach out to them. God wants to use you to save them. Allow me to pray for you in clo to close. Okay, let's bow our heads, close our eyes. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that you would raise up your top agents from Eagle Kids. I pray that you would touch every heart. Those who are listening right now, I pray that you would touch their hearts for them to decide to be God's top agents. The harvest is many. The harvest is many, but workers are few. We need more agents, God. Raise up your agents from Eagle Kids. We don't care about the age because you don't look at the age. God will raise up every child in Eagle Kids to do the Great Commission internationally. Raise them up, Lord. Stir their hearts up. Compel them. Compel their hearts to want to follow you, to want to commit to you, and to want to be your top agent. God will use you. God will use Eagle Kids to save the lost souls out there not just children but the lost souls there's no age restriction lord use this church use eagle kids and use every child every child listening to this sermon to be your top agents to save and rescue those who are being taken away thank you jesus we love you lord use us all anoint us in jesus name I pray. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you.
Wow, now we all understand what gut stop agent is, right? Yes, yes, now I understand that we have to be the best gut stop agent. Not just listening, but we are going to be the one who's going to tell God's words to everyone. I'm God Stop Agent. Yippee! It turns out that I can be God Stop Agent too. And I am going to preach the word of God to everyone. I'm God Stop Agent. That's the spirit. And from now on, we will all be the witness and we want to spread the good news to our friends. I'm God Stop Agent. Come on, say it together with me. I'm God Stop Agent. Wow, Kids? yeah. Kids, so. let's be God Stop Agent together. And don't miss out because next week we will also have our Eagle Kids online service. See you. And Bye. God bless you. God bless you.